103.5 FM this beautiful Thursday morning being the 26th day of January 2023. The time now is 7 o'clock and it is time for the newspaper headlines. Before we do that, let's go on this record. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. <laughs> Now you have the right to quality broadcasting. The National Broadcasting Commission says any person, group of persons, or organization aggrieved by the contents of a broadcast or the conduct of a broadcast station may lodge a complaint to the station and or write to the Director General, National Broadcasting Commission, number 20, Ibrahim Taiwo Street, Asokoro, Abuja, or send a mail via info at nbc.gov.ng. Please ensure that your complaint includes name of the broadcast station, title of the program, date and time of broadcast, and essence of the complaint. Also remember to include your name, address, telephone number, email, and append your signature. Note that your complaint must reach the NBC within 14 days of the query broadcast. NBC, you write to quality broadcasting. <laughs> Welcome back to Ebona, the 103.5 FM. And if you are just tuning in, it is time for the newspaper headlines. This morning, we'll be taking a good look at the Guardian newspaper, Punch, Vanguard, Sun, Daily Post, Leadership, Tribune, Premium Times. You can be part of this by being, going to our Facebook page at Ebona, the 103.5 FM. Stream us online via mixlr.com slash gist. FM, sending your SMS or WhatsApp messages on 080-9666-1035. My name is Ivan. And I'm Martin. Let's get started with the Guardian newspaper. Federal Executive Council okays 10 billion naira for Hadija S. Tribe, Enugu Airport. Tinubu jabs federal government alleges sabotage with poor crisis, naira redesign. U.S. announces visa ban on Nigerians undermining polls, democracy. Reps, boom, we schedule meeting with Central Bank of Nigeria on Naira redesign. Senate ignores consideration passage of 22.7 trillion Naira ways and means. Dozens killed in Nasarawa, Benue. Niger border airstrikes, bomb blast. Dozens killed in Nasarawa, Benue. Niger border airstrike, bomb blast. 26-year-old man jailed for stealing 13.5 billion Naira diaper. Multimedia Publishers Association of Nigeria lords Federal Inland Revenue Services over 10 trillion Naira tax revenue generation. Tinubu promises to end poor scarcity if elected. World Health Organization says COVID-19 has been on increase since December 2022. Senate suspends plenary till February 28. Senate confirms former Inspector General of Police Arase as Chairman of Police Service Commission. Again, Buhari's aide, Bashi Ahmad, loses as appeal court validates Gaia's victory. Pito B is the front runner. Atiku, Tunubu should step down. Valentine Ozibo debunks fake news. National Population Commission commences training of 786,741.5 to 
functionaries for 2023 census. We will link old Irepo, Ipedapo roads for economic development, says Makinde. Old Nara notes, Central Bank of Nigeria insists on January 31st deadline. Sean's calls for extension. That's the much we can take from the Guardian newspaper this morning. Moving over to leadership, 22.7 trillion Naira request. Nigeria risks additional 1.8 trillion Naira debt as Senate ignores President Mohamed Buhari. Federal government approves 10 billion Naira for Hadijia X trip. Enugu Airport orders. AFDB tips Senegal, Mozambique ahead of Nigeria in gas investment. Union Bank to reward customers with 15 million Naira. $1.5 billion Lekki Deep Sea Port to enhance Nigeria's export competitiveness. CIIN charges TACO insurance to protect shareholders' fund. Leadway assurance to leverage AI for increased productivity. OPEC may endorse group's current policy on February 1. Payment system glitches. ECOWAS intra-regional trade drops by 10%. NUPRC's demand for full disclosure. Nigeria political space, active or dull. Naira redesign, fuel scarcity targeted at me, Tinubu. Payment system glitches, ECOWAS inter-trade, inter-regional trade drops by 10%. God won't allow my enemies win presidency. Wiki, leadership award, proof we are being noticed. Premium Trust Bank. Nigeria, Egypt agree on joint electricity development. Econess death. Abia PDP heads. Abia PDP heads for fresh primaries. Aviation worker strike won't happen again. Federal government. NJC clears 84 judges, nine heads of court for appointment. Explosion kills 27 in Nasarawa. US slams visa ban on Nigerians who undermine democracy. Econet's death. How new Abia PDP governorship candidate will emerge? Nigerian students in Europe congratulate first delegates to International Youth Summit. Project development agency underway as bill scales second reading in Senate. Buhari's support for Tinubu unquestionable. Presidency replies Yakasai. Declare emergency on land racketeering. H. Dan tells FCT minister, alleged fraud, ICPC drags Imo APC reps candidates, Abazu to appeal court. Fuel scarcity, new Naira policy meant to sabotage 2023 polls, Tinubu, Abuja magistrate court strikes out suit by Uzodima's aid against Ugochinere. Nasenis Equipment Development Institute for commissioning, February 4. Federal government says aviation worker strike won't happen again. Why we are not campaigning for article in rivers, we can parallel investing in people, prioritizing education, our goals. Abdul Razak, NJC seeks appointment of 84 judges, nine heads of courts. Abia PDP governorship candidate Ikone dies in Abuja. We want honest leaders to inspire our generation. We need peaceful, credible election. Better education for the Nigerian child. POS cash swap. MFLE has shown he's interested in upliftment of the poor. ACJHR. 2023. Shetima hails Fayoshe for supporting Tinubu. FIFA unveils official Adidas match ball for 2023 Women's World Cup. Sports Ministry to spend 6.5. 3.64 billion naira on acquisition of non-tangible assets. Diphtheria, why your child must not miss paternavalent vaccine. Why your child must not miss paternavalent vaccine. As families bear burden of anti-malaria drug resistance. Bank collected 370.6 billion naira stamp duty not 89 trillion naira in seven years 350 m 350 million dollar cvff nimasa gives bank 72 hour ultimate that's all for leadership
And now we move over to the Punch newspaper. San Olu appoints two new permanent secretary. NJC recommends chief judges for Ondo, Kaduna, Abia, others. Ex-minister envoys Lapun's presidential candidates on Chatham House Jamborees. Parties back U.S. visa ban on election riggers. Election will bet a new Nigeria, Obi. Assault. Police says po Abiola's wife has case to answer. Assault. Police says Abiola's wife has case to answer. Agency trains children in water safety. Houses must have first aid kits. Others, Lagos. APC, NMPP, ADC won against election postponement. Anti-party, Enugu APC probes ex-Senate president. Both credible candidates. Bishops tell Nigerians. Bribery. ICPC drags APC rep candidates to appeal court. Lassa fever. Three Edo local governments most hit, says commissioner. Recent crisis aimed at stopping me, Tinubu. 27 headers killed in Nasarawa explosion. Governor orders probe. 39 priests killed since 2012, says Catholic Church. Nigerian students in UK risk deportation. Ibazo, Ohaneze mourns Abia PDP governorship candidate, Ikunne. Akwaibom APC false minister suspension. Senate confirms ex Inspector General RSA PSC share. Castina declares two day holiday for. Buhari's visit. Venue APC candidates plans appealing fresh primary ruling. Stakeholders urge parties, police to prevent electoral violence. Group to partner Lagos government on security. Condition of Nigerian professors fueling medical tourism, doctor. Atikumon's late Abia PDP governorship candidate, Ikunne. Nigeria benefits as UK cuts tariffs on exports. Aboba, great man with valuable personality, says Odeshola. Condolences pours in as Abia Mons PDP governorship candidate. Court dismisses summons of Coalition of Uni United Political Party spokesman. Court dismisses summons of Coalition of United Political Party spokesman. Constitution review states to control airport, power, orders. Protect INEC offices, facilities, Nigerian Security, Civil Defense Corps, tax personnel, and still on the stories making the headlines on the Punch newspaper this morning. Ibazo suspends PDP campaigns over governorship candidates' debt. Nigeria students in UK who are taking this. CBN's Naira redesign, ill timed, says ex Governor Dixon. US imposes visa ban on Nigerians undermining democracy. Ibazo months late Abia PDP governorship candidate. Elections. National Judicial Council seeks appointment of 84 judges, others. Foundation fees Boronu internally displaced persons' children. Stakeholders seek medical research council establishment. Why Fanny Kayode's 4.6 billion naira money laundering trial stalled. Federal government approves 10 billion naira for Hadija airstripes. Enugu control towers. Elections follow prayer with action. Kumi tells Christians. Senate confirms ex Inspector General of Police Arase as PSC chairman. Federal government to ban aviation workers strike. Akwaibom APC expels Buhari's ex aide Enang. Central Bank of Nigerian deadline. Sokoto marketers opt for e naira transaction. Autumn six old naira notes deadline extension. Federal government sets up committee for Ondo, Benin seaports. Senate honors slain Niger priest. Malawi cholera death toll hits 1,000. Outbreak spreads. Malawi cholera death toll hits 1,000. Outbreak spreads. Microsoft outage leaves teams. Outlook users stranded. Don't treat children with diphtheria at home. Pediatrician warns parents. Buhari's visit, Castina declares Thursday, Friday, work three days. My father is capable, says Tinubu's son. Osibanjo presides over Federal Executive Council meeting. Federal government targets $500 million revenues from cashew exports. Federal government launches new health intervention program. Jacinda Adnans, successor sworn in as new Zealand PM. 
why Soludo called for Kano's release, aid. Allow Kano address Ndi before election, or Haneze. Politicians build religious houses, neglect schools, Okorocha. And lastly, Mike Tyson faces new U.S. rape lawsuit. In Daily Post, Nigerians arrested in Cyprus for running prostitution ring. Gunmen abduct traditional ruler in Kaduna. FCT bans POS operators from residential areas. Makban claims military annihilated headsmen in Nasarawa demands probe compensation. Group condemns arrest of protesters against crazy electricity bills in Lagos. PVC collection. Imo government declares two-day holiday for workers. U.S. slams visa ban on Nigerians undermining democracy, confirms 2023 election monitoring. U.S. Germany battle tanks were born in Ukraine, Russia, Nigeria, Namde Azikiwe University Teaching Hospital doctors embark on strike over persistent assault by patients. Tinubu believes Buhari using fear scarcity, redesigned Naira against him. Atiku, Ikone, Tito B. Mons, PDP governorship candidate, postpones presidential rally. Chris Ohizu, IPOB laments murder of Imo local government force. PAP, ex agitators condemn campaign of plumbing against. Buhari, NSA, and Diomo. Apply about APC blast local chapter for purported suspension of minister. Governor Ibazo months Abia PDP Guba candidate Ikone calls for calm. Ikone Abia PDP sustain campaign activities over Guba candidate's death. Organize months death of Abia PDP governor. Governorship candidate Uche Ikone. Court dismisses Seraki's suit against EFCC, ICPC. 2023, Abia YPP candidate cries out over alleged destruction of campaign billboards. Cattle rustling. Dealers, dealers union to start issuance of way bill for transporting livestock. Buhari receives receipt for surplus food production in Africa. Masari declares Thursday, Friday, walk free as Buhari visits Katsina. POS operators, residents lament scarcity of new Naira notes in Ogun. FEC condemns disruption of flight activities, dares workers to proceed on another. Constitution review, Senate laments frustration of local government autonomy. Do not sabotage my government, Lalong warns civil servants. Autumn presents official vehicles to local government deputy chairman. Spent 40.7 million naira to train youth. Pantani counts gains as MAFAB rolls out 5G services. Buhari constitutes committee to tackle petroleum scarcity problem. Stakeholders urge federal government to amend NDDC. <laughs> <clears throat> Global Data Privacy Day, NDB, NDPB hosts Data Privacy Week. CBN won't extend January 31 deadline for Naira deposits. MFLA, no extension for police officers due for retirement. Police Service Commissioner, commercial motorcyclists. Others reject old Naira in Kaduna. Court finds Ibeza led AA 1 million Naira for challenging Tinubu Shetima's nomination. Oshun Guba petition. Tribunal to deliver judgment January 27. Naira redesigned. Politicians only interested in vote buying. Ade Yanuju backs a methyl on deadline. That's all from Daily Post. And now we move over to the nation newspaper. Tension in Akwaibom APC over suspension of Umana, Ita Enang. Senate urges police to arrest prosecute killers of Pada Ashi in Niger. World Health Organization urges surveillance as cough syrups kill 300 kids in three countries. Buare to Africa, raise agri productivity to tackle rising food crisis. Tributes pour for Abia PDP governorship candidate Ikone Ogunlesi elect PBCs. Sangwolu, others to get leadership awards. Makinde, I will develop mineral resources if we elected. Undo blazes trail in science education. 
and still on the story is making the headline on the nation newspaper this morning impeachment court orders parties to file pending processes abu razak signs 188.8 billion naira 2023 budget into law reps to nmpc and petrol scarcity immediately no cash supply at atm points over scarcity of new notes leave naira redesigned to next government dixon Amotekun raises the alarm over missing passengers in Ondo. Presidency knocks Yakasai for doubting Buhari's support for Tinubu. Ibazo, PDP, orders mourn governorship candidate Ikunne. Driver, motorboy, bag 10 years for drug trafficking. Gunmen kill APC ward chairman in Imo. And still on the stories, making the headlines on the nation newspaper this morning. Nursing mother, child abducted in Oshobo. Kanu woman dissolves marriage, weds daughter's lover. Senate okays ex Inspector General of Police Arase as PSC share. We are not responsible for murder of Imo Council boss, IPOB. Senate adjourns plenary till February 28. Abuja Bank dispenses more new notes. Police nab suspected financier of court group in Sapale. Fire raises phone plaza in Anambra market. Tension as traders reject old Naira notes in Para. That's the much we can take from the nation newspaper this morning. In Vanguard, death penalty. Why Nigeria can no longer sit on the fence? Lawyers, PDP crisis. Why we boycotted on those South rally? Senator Tofu Womo. The layers mockery of Tinubu appalling says group. SDG 4. Pirates express concern over rising number of out-of-school children. Ondo residents besiege INEC offices for PVC. Women critical to Atiku's victory. Adeliki. Glamour. Awasika chairs Vanguard Personality of the Year Awards. WHO calls for surveillance as cough syrups kill 300 children in three countries. UK lowers tariff to boost trade with Nigeria, says British envoy. Why Buhari is passionate about infrastructure development? Fashioner, federal government bans aviation workers from going on, on strike. Naira notes, why talks with CBN, bank CEOs failed to hold? Reps, reps urge security agencies to arrest oil marketers responsible for fuel scarcity. Constitution amendment. Reps joined Senate, transmits 35 bills to Buhari, PVC collection. 70 CSOs urge INEC to extend deadline. Senate drops passage of 22.7 trillion naira ways and means over lack of breakdown. NJC okays appointment of 84 new judges, nine heads of court. Ugwani takes steps to improve Enugu Rangers' performance. Constituencies project not core function of the lawmaker. Senator Victor Ume, gunmen kidnap Chawai traditional ruler in Kaduna state. Use of multiple currencies by ECOWAS members can hamper regional economic integration. Done. What to expect from human relations workplaces in 2023? Suspects arrested over Spain later bomb. Suspects arrested over Spain later bomb. Don't vote sentiment in 2023. Vito details Wombe supporters. Gunmen kidnapped Chawai traditional ruler in Kaduna. Nigeria has no excuse for going wrong. Our seeker, CBN assures of monetary policy effectiveness. Federal government should develop economy to retain funds for growth. Our seeker, UK court tariff on Nigerians' exports. Trump's Instagram, Facebook accounts reinstated ahead of 2024 election. Tinubu is sick, should withdraw from presidential race. Kachuku, court strikes out criminal summons against CUPP's spokesman, Ugo Chinere. Federal government moves to protect children in digital environment. Turkish embassy counters report accusing. Turkish embassy counters report accusing it. Turkish embassy counters report accusing it of visa denial to Nigerian students. EFCC arranged former NSITF GM one order over 60 million naira fraud. That's all from 
And now we move over to the premium times. Tinubu alleges plot to scuttle 2023 poll. Abia PDP governorship candidate is dead. Will legislative elections put Benin's democracy back on track? Unidentified aircraft bombs several vigilantes in Niger State. Inside a multi-million dollar business dispute between MFLA and brother-in-law. Lassa fever. Nigeria records seven deaths, 105 infections in two weeks. Nigerians groan as poor scarcity bites harder. National Assembly asks Central Bank of Nigeria to extend the deadline on old Naira notes by six months. Terrorists kill three, abduct others in Niger town. Oyetala versus Adeleke, Oshun Governorship Election Tribunal, pick six date for judgment. Central Bank of Nigeria increases benchmark interest rates to 17.5%. Diphtheria, Nigeria records 123 infections, 38 deaths. Four teachers reported dead two months after sacked by Governor Adeleke. Four teachers reported dead two months after sacked by Governor Adeleke. Fact checking to claims made by P2B at Chatham House. COVID-19, two years after vaccination flag off, Abuja residents still hesitant. MPC decides on key policy issues as MFLA shares meeting. Government behead council chairman in Imo. Presidential election, Tinubu Obi Atiku makes big promises on security. That's the much you can take from the Premium Times this morning. In the Sun newspaper, Farah Governor signs 2023 budget. Saludo to host Southeast governors, others today, Omo Bolande, more witnesses to testify against alleged pop killer. And the NCDC reports 77 Lassa fever cases, six deaths in one week. You are power drunk. Abia commissioner tells Onye Jocha, gunmen kill policewoman at checkpoints in Imo. Group condemns attack on Labour Party candidate in Katsina. Man beats Nova to death in Bayausa. A dope police arrest 105 suspected kidnappers, robbers, others. Gunmen kill APC ward chairman, abduct member, abduct female member in Imo. Beheading Indigo, not freedom fighting. Biafra group. Senate confirms XIG RSS 2023. Nigeria's party system lacks ideology. Ferdinand Otto. Nigeria decides 2023. Samuolo Hamza in action for greater labors. Women separate. Nigeria decides 2023 from other candidates. Oluwa Shegum Falaye. Nigeria decides 2023. No big deal going to Chatham House, Adebayo, SDP presidential candidate. Presidency, God won't allow those threatening me to win. Wiki, violence in Southeast, externally motivated, won't affect polls. Abaribe, Atiku appoints Yusuf as special advisor. Calling Obi sectional leader, insulting, derogatory, campaign cancelled. Tinubu Shetima Presidential Campaign Council condemns incessant attacks on loyalists in Oshun. Tinubu Shetima will end fuel shortage, fuel shortages, forex crisis, Yerima, Antipati, Enugu APC set to hammer Naman, two others, fuel scarcity, Naira redesign, ploy to sabotage elections, Tinubu, vote intelligently, Kumui tasks Nigerians. PDP to conduct fresh primary as Abia Guba candidate dies. Good morning. Okay, uh, let's see if we we can get some messages from our Facebook portal. I have a Dr. Mrs. I have Dr. Mrs. Ma Olebara from Uweri. What is Tinubu insinuating? Who is he referring to? His APC party that has that he was a leader, I suppose. Is this not laughable? May God grant Professor Ikunne, Abia PDP candidate, a peaceful rest and give us the fortitude to bear the irreparable loss. So painful and unfortunate. Thank you very much, Dr. Mrs. Ma Olebara. Wachuku Kennedy Chinedu, voice of Mbise, 
the level of killings in Nigeria is now heading to another dimension. It's now becoming a tradition. Anyways, days of reckoning is coming. Whatever a man soweth, that is what he will reap. Also, INEC giving Adia PDP 14 days to conduct fresh primaries is of no use. Rather, they should use they should join hands with Abia Labour Party. Abia Labour Party candidates to move Abia to the to an enviable height because Abia PDP will be forgotten come this year general election. And now from the SMS portal, we got a message that says the amount of political killings in Nigeria is worrisome and it is an indication that the nation is not ripe for democracy. This country now needs a multinational orthopedic surgeon to diagnose the unending pandemic. Uh, and he continues, it says the new Naira note is too inferior that it cannot pass through the ATM machine without tearing or squeezing. What a shame, despite trillions of pounds budgeted and swallowed. The Buhari administration had left the nation with bar head, and a man with bar head will ab always avoid throwing stone. We will, we will always avoid throwing stones. We will do anything tangible and force these maruders out of office for greater tomorrow. So many simophosia and researchers had been carried out in the nation and all the recommendations and findings are applied in a dusty cupboard. And the white paper is passed for onward approval and the fund that will be used to execute the project will be shared and embezzled upon approval and the country will be diminishing more than before. The nation is now relegated to division three as we cannot equal with any nation in the world in terms of innovations. So many symposia and researchers had been carried out. Okay, you've said this before. And then it continues and says, the, okay, there is a, okay. Then the untimely death of Abia PDP Gover candidate is tragic. This type of death occurred in the last dispensation when Alaji Audu of the APC died in Kogi State. The untimely death of Abia, okay, you, you repeated the same thing. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. This one is coming from Honorable when you hear the course of breath. I have a uh, Christian Ufundu from Onicha. U.S. announces visa ban on Nigeria for undermining democracy. This is a welcome development, but my fear is not because this type of statement has been heard several times from U.S. and still no action has been taken against the country involved. We are tired of U.S. We will do this. We are tired of U.S. We will do this and we will do that. Appear. Allow Kano to address Ndibu by Ohaneze. Ohaneze Ndibu, why is it that your group lacks sense of reasoning? Kano, Nnamdi Kano is still in illegal detention in the DSS dungeon. He has not been set free and you have to push hard to see that Kano is free but you are eager. But you have not pushed hard to see that Kano is free but you are eager to allow him to talk to his people while in the DSS net, so that you may have a peaceful election. You, Ohane Zendibo, have showcased your level of thoughtlessness. You would like, you would like Nam De Kano to help you in solving your problems, but his own will be solved alone. Okay, God knows the best, but you must know that the wind does not blow that way. Violence in Southeast won't affect the poor. It is pure life because nobody would like to risk his life for voting for a person of his choice. It is not practicable. Okay, thank you very much. Governor uh, Valentine Edenet from Mbo. Governor of CBN may have reasons for refusing to extend the deadline of old Naira notes. There is no innovation brought that brought favor 
there is no innovation that brought favor to anyone in the beginning of this era. My own perspective, if old Naira note deadline extends, many politicians will use the avenue to, to buy votes because they hoarded many old Naira notes than the new one. Valentine, I don't know. Okay, from the SMS portal, we got a message from uh, Mayor Onyenjikoka. He says, Ohaneze, allow Kanu to address Ndibo before general election. What is their aim? So they now believe on and the Kanu. They have not said their mind yet. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, This one is also coming from... Uh, okay, this one says, the untimely death of Abia... Christians are fond of complaining, collecting tithes and offering in churches, while Muslims are busy kidnapping and killing them. The recent killing of Roman Catholic priests in Niger State, what has Christian Association of Nigeria done since that killing started? I'm disappointed in them. And this one is coming from Aja. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Your, what you said about Muslims killing Christians is not correct. The actions, you can't decide who really took those actions, really. But anyway thank you so much for joining us still then um this one is coming from uh igwe romanus from ogidi and it says on saludo hosting southeast governors on saludo hosting southeast governors and leaders let them discuss how to release mazen and the canoe and tell federal government to get simon Eba arrested if they want peace in southeast because even his acolytes in this platform are indirectly supporting the killing in Igbo land. I'm urging all Southeasterners to disregard his no election order in Igbo land as we did during his last year, December, five days sit at home order, because it's now clear that he is number one enemy of Ndibu. Let us all come out on that day and cast our votes because there will be security agencies will be on ground. Security agencies will be on ground. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And that's the much we can take from the SMS portal. All right. I have a Ozo Francis from Amagon Zenugu State on our Facebook page. The death of Professor Ikone and the state PDP governorship candidate was a very big loss to the entire Igbos. I join other Nigerians to commiserate with the immediate family and audience. May God rest his soul. Uh, the killing of APC ward chairman in Imo and attacks on PDP campaign rally in Enugu was very unfortunate, callous and barbaric. Why all these killings? I am therefore calling on the Southeast governors and Ohanez and Hibu to call for a town meeting, a town hall meeting with the intent of bringing a lasting solution to these incessant, gruesome killings. May God help us. Thank you very much, um, Francis from Amagunze. And that's, uh, that's all from our messages. We thank you for joining us every morning. And uh, till tomorrow when we come your way, my name is Yvonne. And I'm Martin. Stay safe and be blessed.